The Tom Tarleton Classic at King Speedway underway for the World of Outlaws NOS Energy Drink Sprint Car Series. Three wide momentarily for the lead in turn one. Belongs to the 41 of Carson Macedo at the end of the back straightaway. Sheldon Hunchell, a big time move to the inside of Buddy Kofoid for second. Sheldon second as Kofoid tries to cross back underneath him. Sheldon up to second, lap one in the books. Traffic now officially a factor for your race leader as he rumbles down the front straightaway behind the 7S of Landon Crawley. Looks to the inside of Crawley. The 2K of Gage Garcia there as well. Three wide for position right in front of the race leader. And now Sheldon Hutton really closing in on the race leader. Sheldon to the top side as Messino caution flag on the speedway. Car slowing on the high side in turn number four was the 7S of Landon Crawley. Flat right rear tire on the sides motorsports entry. Macedo waits till turn four to fire. Leads the field into turn one. Sheldon Hodgson to the inside looking for the lead. Not enough to hold it there. Big wheel stand by Buddy Kofoy down the back straightaway. Kofoy had the front end way up off the ground. Tim Kading has made his way into the top five now in the Williams Motorsports number zero. David Gravel closing in on Chuck Goodyear. Gravel now looking to roll into the sixth spot. Sheldon trying to get closer to the Jason Johnson Racing number 41. Trouble right in front of the leader. Car spinning sideways. The 12B of Dawson Faria loops the car and the caution flag waves. Back to green and a great restart for Sheldon Hodgson as he stays even with Carson Macedo side by side for the lead into turn one. Macedo gets the top spot back once again. Buddy Kofoid staying with Sheldon Hodgson for second into turn three. Kofoid to the inside as Sheldon drifts to the cushion. Kofoid now alongside takes second out of turn four. Buddy Kofoid up to second in the Roth Motors once 83. Sheldon tries to come right back at him out of the second turn. Sheldon Hodden Shield looking for another run on Kofoid for second. Macedo trapped behind slower cars into turn number one. Sheldon Hodden Shield a peek to the inside but can't get second away from Buddy Kofoid. Giovanni Selzy closing in. Caution on the speedway. Car slowing on the outside of turn number two, but Kading in car number 29. Macedo waits, gets on the throttle. We're back under green flag conditions. Buddy Kofoy to the inside in turn one, can't make the pass. Sheldon Hodgson now looking for a run on Kofoy as they enter turn three, and right there with them is the 18 of Giovanni Selzy, side by side behind Selzy for position. Deep Kading sideways, he and DJ Neto get together in turn four. And everybody avoids contact with the zero, but they were going at it for the fifth position. Tim Kading and DJ Neto David Gravel to the inside of DJ Neto, looking for a top five spot, couldn't make it stick in turn two. Sheldon Hodgson getting a little bit closer to second place, Buddy Kofoid, as Neto now dives to the inside of Giovanni Silzi, and DJ Neto moves up to fourth. And Buddy Kofoid is getting closer, lead down to half a second. Sheldon Hodgson trying to make it a three car battle for the top spot as he works his way to the inside, but can't quite get by Lockie McDonough. Macedo sliding up in front of Landon Crawley, 7S, but Kofoid able to keep pace on the inside of the speedway. Buddy Kofoid low into turn number one, but nothing doing down there. Caution! Dominic Selzy in the 41S, slow out of turn two. Sheldon Hodgson to the inside of Kofoid looking for second slider there. Sheldon's got it. Kofoid coming back after him out of turn two. Buddy Kofoid trying to get second back from Sheldon Hodgson. Sheldon slammed the door rolling into turn three. Five laps to go. David Gravel coming after DJ Neto for fourth. Gravel's gotten by the 18 of Giovanni Silzi. There will be two laps to go this time as they cross the line and there will be traffic. Now there won't because the caution flag waves. Car slowing on the outside of turn number two. It is Cole Macedo in the number 21. 
Carson Macedo on the throttle early in turn number three. Good restart by the driver of the 41. Buddy Copoy coming back at Sheldon for second. A look to the inside, can't make the move stick. Two laps to go for Carson Macedo at King Speedway. Sheldon got a little bit closer, but a little up over the cushion in turn two. They'll race down the back stretch into three and four for the final time. Carson Macedo wins the Tom Tarleton Classic in his home track, King Speedway. Sheldon Hottenshield second, Buddy Copoy third, DJ Neto fourth, and David Gravel in fifth. Fist bump from crew chief Philip Dees, and he takes the VP Fuels checkered flag up top to celebrate a $21,000 victory. Yeah, I think it was just a little bit of a marathon there. You know, those restarts were really hairy. I didn't know where to be. The one time I picked the top, and as I was rolling into turn three, I thought, man, I think I picked the wrong decision. And luckily, the yellow came out, and I was able to, you know, reconfigure what I thought there. So um, it was tough. The one time, Sheldon actually edged me down the front stretch, and I had to slide him into one. And I was nervous that, you know, the top would come in, but enough guys were running down there. They were keeping the grip just enough off of four to where I could squirt off there. So, man, what a cool event. Uh, Hometown crowd, Hanford. It, uh, it feels good to see all these awesome fans here. You guys are the best in the country, and it uh, feels good to win this race for Tom Tarleton, uh, the Tom Tarleton Classic, near and dear to my heart. Uh, Robbie Tarleton, my grandfather, and you know Tom is uh, Tom Tarleton's my great uncle, and really the reason that I am a sprint car driver today. My parents kind of got me going in the micro ranks, and then he was the one that gave me an opportunity. Had it not been for him, I don't think I ever would have had the chance to to race a sprint car. So very thankful for Tom and Martha Tarleton. Um, extra special to win this race again and um, you know obviously Tommy Tarleton, Melissa Tarleton, I know Tori, Taylor, little Tommy are here. Everybody's kind of here supporting um, all my family and friends, my mom and dad, um, my fiance, uh, my brother's obviously driving the 21 car so just an extra special win and just hats off to Philip Dietz. He just did a great job on that. We were able to go out late in qualifying, lay a nice lap down, get through our heat race, draw the you know lucky one there and and held our own, so it feels good to win like that. Yeah, I mean, other than myself, I feel like they're two of the most aggressive drivers on the tour, and I knew they were gonna be coming and coming hard. Uh, a little bit more money on the line, everybody's running a little bit a little bit more up in the seat, so I uh, just had to switch up my game a little bit, you know, roll the dice a different direction, um, make sure they weren't timing my restarts. I knew I was slipping a little bit off of four, so um, good to hear that I got a good start there, and just huge thank you to, uh, obviously, Tarleton and Son, uh, the whole Tarleton family, Peter Murphy for putting on a great event here at Hanford. Uh, Dennis all about all your alternative, Messiah Valley Transportation, Sage family, um, Bolts family, uh, Maxim Chassis, Factory Cane Shocks, Kissler Engine, Sander Engineering, um, Durst Incorporated, Complete Parts and Equipment, uh, man, Team Jack Foundation, everybody that helps up this car. There's a big group of guys that are uh, really important to this race team, and we couldn't do it without them. So hats off to Robbie McQuinn and Adam Zimmerman. They worked really hard all night, and it feels good to reward them with a win. For live coverage of every World of Outlaws event and for extended on-demand race content, visit DirtVision.com. For full race results, features, and series news, visit WorldOfOutlaws.com.